Welcome back, everyone. This is level two, the CED SOG Command Center. And we have two objectives for this mission. One is to assassinate General Morgan, and the other is to obtain the failsafe data and destroy the mainframe computer with an infected cartridge that is in our inventory. And as you can see, this door is locked. And there's actually two ways of opening that door. One is to go inside this tower and have our ship scanned, and the other is to destroy all the robots and the panels. And usually, I prefer the latter. Yeah, I prefer the more violent way. And it is possible to do both, have your ship scanned and then destroy the robots and the panels, but uh, I'm not going to bother doing that. And I should point out, once you start attacking the robots, uh, this tower up here will uh, not scan your ship. So you have no choice but to destroy these panels. And there we go. Yeah, you can choose the non-violent way if you play this game. Hey, watch it, asshole. But me personally, I prefer the violent way. And now we have to get our ship scanned here. And a guard robot will come along and... Wait for it. Take all of our weapons! Yeah, he took all of my weapons. My primary, my secondary, all of it. And if you attack that guard while he come down here, this whole entire room will fill up uh, will fill up with acidic gas and your ship will be destroyed. So yeah, we're in, but we have no weapon. No primary, no secondary. I can't even fire a flare. So yeah, we're pretty much unarmed and defenseless. So we're gonna have to um find a weapon scattered around here. Okay. And we're going to have to find another way through to the restricted area. And the guide bot gives us a little hint with those barrels right there. But since we have no weapons, we can't set them off. So, what can I talk about here? Well, I am aware of uh, all the things that's happening with, um, with uh, Phil Rudd right now how he's going to be serving time in prison for his uh, murder threats and all that. Come on, Phil. You're, you're a much better person than that. Why would you ever do something like this? Anyway, we have a new weapon. Let's go ahead and destroy those barrels. Who needs to find the door when you can make your own? Yeah. Oh, and uh, I forgot to mention that the guide bot here in this expansion pack is given some sort of a comical wall. Uh-oh. That did not look good. And those guys blew a hole in the uh, ceiling or floor or whatever this is. That'll allow us to get to the restricted area. Uh, anyway. Here we are. And there are uh, surveillance cameras scattered throughout this area that will activate turret defenses if we get seen. And unfortunately, since we don't have a uh, security camera monitor, we can't see the perspectives of these security cameras. So we're going to have to be on the lookout for them. So yeah, I just saw a video recently of, um, of Phil looking to rejoin ACDC soon, and I hope he does. I, I like Phil as a, as a drummer. Alright, let's make our way past the security lasers, and there we go. And if you trip one of these lasers, this force field will go down, another one will appear right here, and there's a materializer right here that'll spawn a robot, a stormtrooper or a stinger, I can't remember which one. 
And you have to destroy that panel right there to get rid of this force field. Oh! Something I forgot to bring up in the last video. Yeah. Something I forgot to bring up in the last video is the music. Um... Yeah, the music in this game is, are either really awesome or really weird. Like, for example, the music in the last level, it was epic. I loved it. However, the music in this level is kind of, um... Like, out of place, in my opinion. Yeah, it feels kind of sporadic. Or something like that. I mean, it's not all that bad, truth be told, but there's just one certain part of the music that's just so freaking weird. And it's coming up right here. Um, yeah, it should be coming short. Yeah, listen right here. a load of that. <laughs> Isn't that weird or what? Sound like someone snorting and whistling. Is snorting an instrument? No, Patrick, snorting is not an instrument. Whistling is not an instrument either. <laughs> I love that episode of SpongeBob. In fact, that remains to be one of the best episodes out there so far. I forgot what it's called. Band Geeks, I think? I think it's called Band Geeks. I can't remember. I haven't watched Bunbob in a long time. Anyway, that door over there is locked, and so is this one. But, there is an open vent right here that we can go inside and crawl through. And also, we have card lasers and trap packs now. Um, oh, and we got Mega Missiles. Yeah! Let's save those for later. Um... What else can I talk about here? Oh! I went to the, uh, the Outpost Death Run server last night. And, um... Oh yeah, you're supposed to go through this fan, but you can't get cut up by it while it's, uh, operational. There we go. And we got the fusion cannon and the math driver. Again, save those for later. And let's flip that switch to unlock the door. And flip this switch to disable a force field. All the way over here. So we can progress on. So yeah, I went to the Outpost Death Run server last night for another recording session. And, um... I did get a few funny moments here and there, but I'm still not sure if it'll be enough for episode 3. Alright, now this part is really tricky. The lasers here are invisible, and I don't even know if they're moving or if they're just standing still. So we're going to have to uh, uh, make a prediction on where the lasers are, and I failed right off the bat. Oh well, let's destroy the robots here and uh, destroy the panels. Alright. Destroy the second panel, and there we go. Hmm. Which way should we go? There's a stormtrooper over here. Let's go this way first. I cannot get over that part of the music right there. The snorting and the whistling. It sounds so weird. I don't know who did the music for this level, but... <laughs> Whoever it was... I... I gotta hand it to you. To make such a... An uh, unusual but unique sound for... For the music... Um, kudos, I guess. But, anyway... Uh-oh, what do we have here? It's a heavy trooper! 
armed with red plasma cannons and impact mortars. Oh wow, I took him out very quickly. And there's more heavy troopers in here, but they won't attack us at all. Um, but anyway, back to uh, the death run moment. So yeah, I went back to the outpost server last night for more funny death run moments, and I got a couple. I'm not sure if it will be enough for episode 3, though. In fact, oh. <laughs> well, thank you for destroying that camera for me, good sir. I really appreciate it. Anyway. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if I'll still have enough for episode 3. In fact, I'm not even sure if I want to continue funny death run moments. Because hardly anyone goes to that server anymore. Which is really sad. The general ship is arriving at Hangar E. And General Morgan has arrived. Now how are we gonna eradicate him without being seen? Oh, well, there is a CPU unit for the uh, turret defenses right here. Let's see what happens when we destroy it. Oh, it caused the turret to go rogue to attack all the robots in that room. And blow up the barrels, which in turn blew up General Morgan. So, General Morgan is now dead. Oh, and there's another attack from the heavy trooper right there. To roll up into a ball and try to ram right into us. And don't worry about the turret, they won't attack us. But anyway, let's grab what we can and get the hell out of here. So yeah, General Morgan is now dead. I feel so weird saying that, because one of my best friends is named Morgan, and he is also a general. Not a general of the army or anything, but he and his family um, built a, uh, a team for, uh, for uh, robot combat sport. Yeah, he's part of a team called the South Bay Robo Warriors, and uh, they fought on TV on uh, the TV show BattleBots and they had a robot named Mauler and Mauler 5150 my all-time favorite robots anyway here is the mainframe computer and there is the failsafe data let's go ahead and take that and put in the infected data cartridge and let's get the hell out of here Let's go through this intake fan and make our escape. So yeah, uh, Morgan, if you're watching this, no offense, buddy, I still love you, and uh, I do feel weird for saying the stuff I said previously. And all that's left to do is to fight off these heavy troopers. Oh, Jesus, impact mortar! Yikes! Oh, let's see how you like it when I use one on you guys! No, one's not enough? Well, let's have two. Get the hell away from me. God, there's no room to maneuver. Oh, I see you survived both blasts. There we go. Taken care of. Now let's pick up what's left and make our way out of here. And that was the CED SOG Command Center. That was a bit easier than I expected. I was expected to get killed by, uh, by a heavy trooper, but nope, I made it out alive without any death. 
And that is the last time we will be using the CED Phoenix Interceptor. As a reward for the excellent work, I have decided to upgrade your ship to a state-of-the-art Black Pyro. The mission went flawlessly. The, the fail-safe project is officially dead. Continue to perform as you did on this last mission, and you will share the untold power that I possess. Once the virus is under control, uh, under our control, we will be unstoppable. The virus has most recently infected our holdings in Zeta Aquilae. Our site there were deemed unsalvageable. I was forced to send in a material defender to destroy them. While he was there, however, an unusual celestial body appeared on our long-range sensors. The material defender was sent to investigate, and he discovered an alien planetoid. Unfortunately, it was not the origin of the virus, and it too was infected. He successfully destroyed it, but he did not survive. The material defender wouldn't have understood my plan for the virus anyway. It's not too unfortunate that we lost him. What is unfortunate is the fact that a nearby CED tracking station may have recorded data that could implicate us in this matter. Well, I hate to break it to you, Dravis, but he did in fact survive. And we have a picture of Tycho Brahe here, the final uh, planetoid from Descent 2. And the very last mission for the Pyro GX before it would burn by the sun. You will arrive at this station concealed in a large delivery crate. Your arrival coincides with a micrometeor storm that is advancing on the station. This storm will provide enough interference to disable communications within the station during your mission. This station was built in cooperation with PTMC. We were able to install small surveillance bots throughout the complex. These bots will directly notify you with critical information as needed. I need you to gather any data they may have on the planetoid and destroy the station. Good luck. Alright. Further info. Robots. M87. Black Stormtrooper. Designed for a variety of military and security purposes, the M87 Blackjack continues the line of the advanced trooper units. This is a precision drone, a veteran of sniper combat. He will not lose his stride even in the most intense battles. Yeah, these robots are vicious motherfuckers. I hate sniper robots. Intelligence. Data system and cooling junction. To gain access to the data system, you will need to obtain two keys, one from the captain and one from the first mate. In order to operate, these keys must be utilized within a very small window of time. You will need to place an explosive device at each cooling junction. And that's how we will destroy the station. Alright. Let's head off to that station, shall we? This is PTMC Cargo Dispatch 559. We're requesting drop-off clearance for delivery 13 Omega. Affirmative. Deposit delivery in docking bay 1. Be advised. Micrometeor storm approaching. Expedite your business. PMC delivery 15 Omega. Warning. Content hazardous. Oh yeah, the contents are hazardous, alright. So, I shall go ahead and save my game right here. And I will see you guys next time. Sayonara.